In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector shield logo design using Affinity Designer for the iPad. So I'll come over here and open a new document to get started. And the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my rectangle tool and draw a square. So I'll swipe on the canvas and then hold a tap with my index finger so we have a symmetrical square like that. And then I'll come over here to the menu and I will convert that to curves. Then I will grab my nodes tool and I'm gonna select this node over here in the bottom left and press the delete button down here to get rid of it. So now what I will do is I'll take this node over here and bring this in about this far. And I'm gonna take this top line over here and just swipe that down a little bit just to give that a curve. And I'll take this line down here and swipe that out. And I'll just adjust this a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of this object. So I'm gonna select it with the selection tool and I'm going to choose the option key down here and then just swipe this over here like that. And then I will flip this horizontally and make sure you have snapping enabled, which is this magnet icon over here. And then we're gonna take this shape and just snap it over to that other shape. Snap it in place just like that. Now we can select both of these objects and go to the Boolean operations up here and add them together. And now I will go to the corners tool. I'm gonna to select this corner right here and then I'll hold shift and select this corner right here so we have them both selected. And the corner type I'm gonna choose, or you know what, let me, let me close that. Let me just bring the corners in first like that and then we can choose the corner type. So now I will go to corner concave and that right there is what we're going for. So once that's done, let me go back to my selection tool. I'll go back to the menu, convert that to curves. And I'm going to make this object black. And now I wanna make a duplicate copy of it. So let me go back to my selection tool. And now I'm going to go to the menu up here. Or it might be this menu, there we go. Yeah, it's this menu and go to duplicate. And I'll make this duplicate copy white and I'm gonna grab the offset tool and just bring this down, to, down a little bit to the left. And then we'll convert this to curves as well. And now I'm gonna make a duplicate of that. So we'll go back over here to the menu, make a duplicate of that other duplicate, and I'll make this one black. And I'll repeat the same set, uh, that same step. I'll grab the contour tool, bring that down a little bit, and you can see what we've accomplished there. We've created sort of like an outline going around the shield. So let me bring that, let me just adjust that a little bit. And once you're happy with the placement, you can convert that to curves as well to finalize that. And now we're gonna take that white shape and subtract it from the black shape behind it so that it's negative space there, so it's a proper outline. So let me go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna to open my layers menu and I'm gonna select the bottom shield and then hold shift and select the white shield above it so that we have them both selected and go to the uh, Boolean operations and choose subtract. And there we go, that's the effect we're going for. And the final step now is, this shield is pretty usable as it is right now. If you wanna stop here, you can, but what I did was I made this a half shield in the center just for an added effect. So I'm gonna select the shield in the center, go to the nodes tool, and I'm gonna take these nodes right here and I'm just gonna delete them. And then I'm going to select these nodes over here and I'm gonna bring those handles in. Let me try that again. This is kind of difficult to do when I'm not directly over the iPad. I'm kind of out of the way because I'm recording. There we go. You know what, I still missed it. Still not quite there. There we go. And just like that, we're finished. You can now use this however you want, whether it be for a logo or an icon or whatever else. You can select both of them. And if you want, you can change your color like that. So that should do it for today's tutorial. That's how you can create that shield logo shape using Affinity Designer for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.